So I just created this place mark and I just typed things in normally in this description box without using HTML code. And when I do that and click OK and click on my place mark, it says Voltaire lived in Paris, France, obviously, because that's what I just wrote, but it's not fancy at all. So I'm going to, this tutorial is going to show you how to change your font in this place mark. So to do that, first right click on your little thumbtack or whatever it is and click properties or it might be get info. Now in this description box you can use HTML coding. We're going to select this all and delete it. To make your font bolded you need to add something. Now to make your font bolded type in carrots which is shift and the little comma key B and then the other carrot which is shift period then your phrase this is bolded and then you need to add right after you're done the shift comma again the other carrot backslash b and carrot all right so we can see what this looks like by selecting ok and then clicking on our thing and this is bolded now now I need to explain something about HTML. These things here, this and this, those are called tags. And they always come in pair. Pairs. One tag to start the change. This one is to start the change, the change meaning that whatever follows it is going to be bolded. And then this one ends the tag, which tells the computer that it doesn't want anything else bolded after this little tag here. And an important thing to remember about HTML code is that when you start something with this little signal, with the caret and then whatever your code is and then end caret, when you're ending it, you have the caret and you have a backslash, your code and your end caret. The backslash tells the computer that it is done. So remember that the backslash is the end. If you don't have that backslash there, your computer will not stop having everything bolded. So now to add a new paragraph, you enter down, you put caret p and end caret, and that's its own little set of tags. It's kind of the exception to the rule, I guess. And this p tag will have a double spaced effect. Then you can move on to your next thing which, so this is a new paragraph, there's a double space, so I can uh, start coding right after I put that paragraph break. And so I want to make my font italicized now. So I'm going to do caret i and caret and then say this is italicized and then I'm going to end it by doing caret backslash i and caret. Now to see what that looks like, I'm going to select OK. And then I'm going to click on my little fob. And you see that this one is bolded. There's a double space right here, and this one is italicized. Great! Now, I can exit out of that. I'm going to go back in and to Properties or Get Info. I'm going to make another paragraph, but this time I'm going to just type in BR. So I'm going to type in caret BR and caret. That's the same thing as a paragraph break, but this is just a break which is kind of a single spaced effect. So this time I think I'm going to try underlining. And now to underline something, it's the same thing as what you've done with the other ones. You do caret U for underline and caret. This is underlined. Caret backslash U to end the underlining. Now we're going to select OK, just so you can see what that looks like. And here you see this one's bolded, and this is where we added our per paragraph break with the caret P. And this is where we've had something italicized, and you see that this is a single space now because you used BR, and this says this is underlined. Now something else that's interesting to note is that you can combine these things. Now this is just a little more information. 
If you combine things, for instance, I'm going to add a new paragraph, so I need to do a P, and this will make it double spaced. You just keep layering on these HTML codes so that they'll happen one right after the other. So if I want to make it bold italicized, I do caret B and caret, and I want it italicized, so caret I and caret this, then I type in my text. This is bold and italicized. And then you need to end it all. So you do caret backslash I and caret. And then you need to end the bolding also. Caret backslash bold caret. So we started a new paragraph on this line. We also made it bold and italicized, and this is our font. Then, or this is our text, and then we're ending the italicizing and we're ending the bolding because we have the tags with the backslash on them. Kind of click OK so you can see what that looks like. And then, here we go. Oh, whoa, oh, isn't that nice? So hopefully that gave you a little more info about how to make things a little fancier on your placemark.